Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And today I'm going to show you how to create a vinyl record because vinyl records seem to have come back in style. And I'm going to show you how to create it from scratch. No pun intended. So let's get started. So let's start a new document. We'll go File New. And I'm going to do 12 inch by 12 inch at 72 dots per inch. You can do any size you want, but I figured 12 by 12 is a square, and I kind of like that for this particular tutorial. So I'm creating that, and then I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and do a perfect circle. So I'm holding down shift, and I'm starting up here in the corner, and I'm just going to drag down, and that looks about right, whatever size you want your record to be. And I'm going to turn that black. So I'll get color and I'll go to black. Now I'm going to give it an outline. So let's give it a gray outline, say middle gray, anywhere in the middle gray is like that maybe. And I'm doing a one point outline. Now with that layer selected, I'm going to do control or command J. That duplicates it. And then immediately I'm going to move this. I'm going to shrink it by holding my command key and my shift key down. So it shrinks it in proportion right into the center. You would hold shift and control if you're on a Windows PC. Now, before you touch anything else, you immediately hold down command or control and tap J. And every time you tap it, it will shrink it and shrink it into the exact same position. So I'm just going to keep tapping, tapping, tapping until I feel like we got enough of the record. I may even go a little more just in case, but I know I think that looks pretty good right there. Now I am going to take that bottom layer, the first one, I'm going to also duplicate that. So control command J again, and I'm going to hide the bottom one. And I'm going to take all the top ones and I'm holding shift while I select the bottom, that one, those, all the top ones except that bottom layer. And I'm going to group them. So it's control or command G. I'm going to call that groups. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the shape rectangle tool and I'm going to create something like that. Maybe I'm, I'm actually going to probably meet it, right? And if you have snapping on, it'll snap right to the side of the label. So next what I'll do is I'm going to go right here to the gradient tool. And I'm just going to go right across just like this. So now I'll go into the gradient tool and it's black. It just happened to be black because both sides are black, but we don't want that. We want the center to be white. So I'm going to insert a point in the center and I'm going to click the color and make it white. And I think that's pretty good. And if you don't want to go so white, you can go a little bit of gray. But I'm going to go white because we can always change the opacity later on. And I'm going to change the blend mode, maybe soft light or overlay. I think overlay would work out pretty good here. And I'm going to now convert this to curves. And go to the node tool which is under the pen tool. And I'm just going to bring in maybe like that and maybe like that. It does not have to be perfect. And remember this bottom one, I'm going to, uh, we, we duplicated the whole outer one. I'm going to take that bottom one now and I'm going to command click on it, which will select the outer record. And then I'll hide this one more time. And then I'll go up to here to that rectangle we just made and I'll create a mask. I'll just click on mask and then I'll deselect with control or command D. And so now we got a little bit of reflection. Now you can turn that reflection, which I'll do later. Uh, let's leave it for right now. And now we're going to create the label inside. And I will turn this into a little bit of a 3D, but I want to wait until I've done the label and everything else. So to do the label, you open up the grooves group and you take the top one and after selecting the top one you duplicate it control command J and let's take it out of the group so I'm gonna go all the way to the top and make sure it's all the way to the top left of the layers so now we have 
In fact, I'll, remember I did the curve here? I'm going to call that reflection. And then the top is going to be called label. So on that top one now that we called label, I am going to give it the color red, maybe a deep red, something like that. That's the colors they used to use years ago. Let's get a little bit of a close up. And now I'm going to duplicate that again, control or command J and bring that one in slightly by holding shift and control or shift and command, maybe to there. And I'm turning off the gray. I think the gray is okay as an outline, but I would like to do a little bit of a more interesting outline. So I'm going to open up my outline here and get rid of it. And the reason for it is I don't want a solid outline. I'm going to open the effects now and on the effects I'm going to go to outline and the reason I'm using this outline I'm just going to make it a little bit big for now whatever size we want to make it but I want not a solid color I would like a contour which I think is more interesting so I'm going to click on that contour and I might make this just a little thicker right now so we could see it and I'm going to click on the contour and I think the first one I'll do maybe I'll take this side and I'm going to give it the same color, except I'm, when I select it here, I'm going to move it a little bit lighter. I don't want it to be exactly the same, so I'm sliding it into a little bit lighter. And then on the dark side, I'm clicking that black. It was black, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to select that record, that red. Click here where it says red, and then maybe there a little bit of a different color also. So let's drag this maybe this way and you can see what's happening right here. It's changing the look of the line. It's not really a full line, but and you can go bigger or smaller, but it kind of gives the impression that maybe the old old records used to have like a little indent under the labels. Now let's take the one below again, actually the top one. We can do the top one again. And we'll con control or command J. And this time, no outline. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to change the color to white. And then once again, to keep all your proportions, hold shift and command or shift and control. And you bring it right down, maybe there. Let me take a look at what that looks like. Perfect. And that's going to be the hole, but it's not a hole yet. Right now it's just on top of the other layers. I'll fix that part later. And so now let's just take some black text maybe. And I'm keeping it simple because years ago the album labels were very simple. So I'm just gonna type T-O-P in capital letters. And I'm going to make sure that that's centered. And I'll bring this right to here. And I'll center it with my page. And maybe instead of regular, I will do bold. And then I'm duplicating that. I'm going to hold my option this time. So if I hold option and drag, it duplicates. And if I hold shift, it keeps it in line. And now I'll change that to hits. Let's go back and see what the record looks like. And I think we're looking pretty good right now. And now what we'll do is... We will group all of these together, not the bottom one, and not this label. In fact, I'm going to throw that label, not the label. I'm going to call that label one, that white one, I'm going to call it whole for now. I'm going to bring that all the way to the front. And now I'm going to select everything except that top layer and that bottom layer. And I'm going to group it, hide the hole, and do layer merge visible so it's it's merging everything except the hole and the bottom one i don't even think i need the bottom one anymore but just in case i have it there so everything now we could turn off and now that we turned it off we have one pixel layer and that's the record so remember we left this hole separate so i'm going to turn that on now and command click or control click on there and that creates a selection right here get a close up and now we can hide that and you can see the selection and now we go back to the record right here on that layer and we do control or command X 
and now deselect control command D and now we've really created a hole in there so we can now get rid of this and I even believe we can get rid of the bottom record so and we can get rid of all this thing but I'm keeping it just in case I ever want to make any changes so let's take the record now which is the pixel layer on top and we're going to go to effects and let's try bevel and emboss I'm going to go to emboss no I think I'm gonna to go to inner inner bevel and I'm gonna get a close-up one more time and I want you to see what it did it makes the hole look real but I think it's a little too strong but if I lower it just a little bit it kind of gives it a nice edging here and it also makes the hole look like a real hole like it's three-dimensional we can also remember the reflection I did earlier let's do that one more time a good thing I saved this select that layer and duplicate it control command J and I'm gonna move that on top of everything because I forgot to put the reflection on the label. Well, it's too strong here, and we don't want the same reflection on the label as everything else. So first, we're going to get rid of that mask. So let's get rid of that. Delete. And we're going to create a new mask. And the mask would be the size of the label. So if you Command-click on the label, it selects the label. Now go back up to that reflection. Oops. Now go back up to that reflection and go to Mask. And now, now the label is masked. Deselect Command D. And now it's only on the label. I need to change maybe the texture because the texture should not be the same as the record. The record's more shiny, the texture's more dull. So I'm going to go back to that reflection layer on top and go to my live filters and I'm going to add some noise. And I'll get a close up just so you could see. So I'm just going to slide up my noise see how it's the reflections a little bit more shaded right there it's not the same as the other one and I don't want to overdo it just a little bit like that but I'll change the opacity down so I'm gonna lower that opacity so it's really very subtle but it's not as strong and if you really want you can even go further and you can take that and go back to the node tool and you could change the shape slightly like maybe you maybe you want it bigger, maybe you want it smaller. It doesn't really matter so much. Let's see what that looks like. So it's the reflection comes out a little bit further out here. And now we're also going to do one more uh, well, a couple of more simple things. So now that everything's up there, let's now do one more time. I'm going to go layer merge visible. And that includes all the reflections, that includes the 3D everything, and we'll hide everything below now. So we have one pixel layer, and I'm going to rotate it. Eh, just slightly maybe like that give it a nice look let's take a fill rectangle I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna grab a square and I'm gonna put it right at the bottom here up right behind it and I'm gonna move it behind that pixel layer let's go out here and now I'm going to styles now styles I'm just using the default styles that came with affinity photo and I was trying a bunch of them but I think I think it was this one that I liked and I think that's the one I did like and I kind of like that it's like the old gold records and something so that's where I left it and I tried to keep it as simple as possible in this tutorial I didn't want to get too complicated I didn't want to do any fancy text which you can change your text anytime you want but I think that looks pretty decent and I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did please click like and subscribe and have a great day thank you so much bye